Hi guys, super keyword is super easy. We only have three uses of super keyword and we use super keyword in inheritance. The first use is to access the variables of parent class. Suppose I created two classes junior programmer and senior programmer. Senior programmer extends junior programmer and both these classes have a variable as salary because the salary of junior programmer is 2000 and of senior programmer is 3000. Now when I want to access the variable of parent class, I'll use super keyword. For example, I created display method in senior programmer. So inside display method, I'm using super dot salary. That means that it refers to the salary variable in junior programmer because it's parent class and the simple salary refers to the variable inside senior programmer. Now second use of super keyword is similar to first use but rather than accessing variable of parent class will access methods of a parent class. For example, both classes junior and senior programmer have a display method in it. Now I want to access display method of parent class. So I'll use super keyword in front of display method. So inside hi, when I call display, it refers to the display method of senior programmer. But when I write super dot display, it calls the display method of junior programmer that is of parent class. And this is the output of the program. And the final use of super keyword is the most use that is called the parameterized constructor of parent class using super keyword. Suppose I created two classes again junior and senior programmer and both these classes have parameterized constructor. Now I want to call the parameterized constructor of junior programmer from constructor of senior programmer. So for that I can use super keyword. Just write the super keyword and pass the arguments and depending upon the arguments, the JVM automatically calls the constructor of parent class that is of junior programmer. If this is getting confusing, let's understand it practically. Let's revise all the three uses of super keyword. So the first use is to access the variables of parent class. We have seen this program. So super dot salary means the salary variable of our junior programmer and salary means salary variable inside senior programmer. Let's run our program and salaries are printed correctly. Now let's access methods of parent class using super keyword. So I am creating a display method in both our classes. And I am calling both display methods inside high method. So super dot display represent display of junior programmer and display method is of class senior programmer. Dot high. We got an error because I declared display method outside junior programmer. Now it should run correctly. And yes, it's working fine. Super dot display calls the method of junior programmer. Now let's call the constructor of parent class using super keyword. 
So I'm creating a senior programmer constructor which accept two integer values that is salary of junior and salary of senior and I'm creating a constructor inside junior which accept an integer value that is its salary so this dot salary equals salary and now super and pass the junior salary that is sal junior Super keyword automatically calls the constructor in parent class depending upon the arguments if we have more than two constructor in parent class. And now let's display the salary variables. and uh, I'm passing 5000 and 10,000 and let's call our display method and 10,000 and 5000 are printed guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you like code archery Facebook page and join our group you can also support me on Patreon. And if you like my work, then please hit that like button and share my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing.